splitting traffic and driving three times the speed limit. Oh, welcome to Europe. Hi, I'm Lauren Fix. Welcome to Car Coach Reports. Today we are discussing the 2020 Range Rover Evoque. It is all new. You can tell by its look, it is sexier, it is sleeker, it is more capable. And I have to tell you, we've already been driving it. It's pretty impressive. We are here in Athens, Greece, way up at the top of a mountain next to a monastery. You can put the comments below on that one. But we're going to have the opportunity to drive this vehicle on all types of roads, see what the roads are like here in Greece and we'll show you all about the vehicle. You're probably gonna wanna go drive one. Stay right with us. One of the things about driving in Europe is that some of the roads are literally one car wide. And this is one of them. It is a castle at the top of a hill in the most beautiful area of Greece, one of the many. And uh, interestingly, on this rough cobblestone road, we don't know when we go around the corners what's going to be there. So uh, there's some people that just drive down the middle of the road and uh, you have to kind of make the assumption that they're going to pull over or you're going to pull over and you just don't know. So as far as the controls, they're all easy to use. If you've been in a Jaguar or a Land Rover in the past, you can see that the controls are very similar. There's all that family is still there and easy to use. Always customizable, which I think is great. As far as visibility, I think there's excellent visibility, of course, when you're driving a vehicle like this. It's a sloped back crossover. You're going to lose some of your visibility from the side. So you've got your mirrors. You've got, of course, blind spot detection, lane change departure, and all the rest of the safety features. And there's a ton of them. And I'll list them all down below for you. This vehicle coming in at $44,000 is a base. I think you'll probably want to load it up. But loaded, it's only in that $55,000 range. Remember what you are getting, that you are not getting with the competitors is full maintenance. And I think that is a huge benefit. Split center console, great, lots of connectivity, tons of places to plug in and standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course, top of the line audio system. I'm really impressed with everything they've got in this vehicle. One big thing, I can't believe it. I said this the moment I got in this car and you may find it funny because I'm really a car person, is the cup holders. There's a very large and a small one. So if you come with that jumbo bottle of water, which I tend to be that person, I have a place for that and something smaller for a cup of coffee so it doesn't fall over. So rather than too large or too small, you get one of each. Here's a passenger seat review. Yes, yes, I can tell you there is four-way lumbar. Thank God. Seats are super comfortable. And best of all, you can adjust the visibility so you can see out the windows because this is an SUV. In the second row, there is room for three people. What I really like is the visibility, surprisingly, with that angled line that you see in the design of the side of this vehicle, gives you plenty of visibility. There's plenty of knee room, which I'm really surprised on a vehicle of this size many of its competitors don't have this same knee, shoulder, and headroom. Really nice storage in the doors if you want to put a water bottle. And of course, overall, great headroom. Love this glass roof. And of course, there's good shoulder room. I would say three people could fit here pretty comfortably. There is also a center armrest and two cup holders and a pass-through for a pair of skis. Well, we have an opportunity that's kind of an unusual opportunity, and you probably won't be doing this on your own but we're actually driving on a railroad track. Now you typically would want to straddle that railroad track if you were in this position. So we have clear sight ground view camera right here. And there's also clear sight rear view camera. And this allows us to actually see what's down there rather than making an assumption and driving over something dangerous. So one of the neat things about this vehicle and the one I'm in has the eucalyptus interior which that's what the fabric is it's actually kind of neat versus the leather interior which we were in in the other vehicle so one of the things that this vehicle is this happens to be a european model and it's diesel i love my diesel vehicles I, we're not going to get diesel here in the u.s but i did have an opportunity to drive it and i didn't want to miss that opportunity for those of you that live in other countries diesel is really a great way to go longer distance between fill up long, you know i just Hey, 700 miles on a tank, 34 miles a gallon all day long. If you haven't tried diesel, you should. Now they do offer it in the F-Pace on the Jaguar. They don't offer it in the Land Rover unless you go up to the Range Rover and then the, the full size one, and then you're gonna get a different engine, a three liter. So crossing this very old railroad bridge, we are going extremely slow, like six kilometers an hour because this bridge hasn't been used in a very long time and uh, Land Rover, Range Rover have definitely inspected, we hope, this bridge. You can hear it creaking. 
Wow, okay. This is something you probably don't see me do on camera very often, but I'm gonna actually take a picture of this view so you can see what I'm looking at. That is really spectacular and goes out to the ocean. Without a guide, you can get in a lot of trouble on off-road courses. So if you decide to take your Range Rover Evoque off-road, get someone to help you. It's not usually something the average person will do, but if you do have to, figure out a way to drive through it. This vehicle is more than capable, and Range Rovers are designed to go on and off-road. When you're purchasing an SUV of this category, a big thing's going to be storage. And we were able to put two large pieces of luggage in the back of this, as well as a duffel bag. And that's great for your family. But what's nice is there's also hooks here for plastic bags or things that you might have to hang. And there's a power outlet, which is great if you're tailgating. Even better, underneath here, there's a full-size spare. And that's what we need these days. You don't want to rely on a potential of a run flat tire and they're super expensive. So they've done a great job back here. We spent the day driving the 2020 Range Rover Evoque, literally off-road and on-road. And you can see this car is pretty filthy. We did some off-roading, we went dirt, we crossed water. This vehicle is so capable that you can drive this through water pretty much up to the door line. Now you can go through those specifics on the website because a vehicle like this is what I have always called a mountain goat. There isn't much it can't do. And people that own these vehicles, all right, most of them aren't driving them off-road. But if you wanted to go camping, you wanted to do an off-road, you know that this vehicle is going to do that. And when you look at the competition, I would not take the risk of driving those vehicles off-road, certainly not at the level of any Land Rover or Range Rover product. And the Range Rover Evoque has always proven itself to be an excellent vehicle, very capable, and you get to use it every day. So whether you're taking your family to the store or you're going to school or you're going to work, you know you're gonna have a vehicle that can get you there no matter what the weather conditions are. And if I'm from Buffalo and believe me, there's snow. And this is the kind of vehicle you wanna have because you know you're gonna to get to your destination. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see some others, make sure to click right up here, our current upload. If you wanna see what YouTube suggests, it's right down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, it's right over here. All the details are down below and our social media. You gotta check out the pictures of this vehicle here in Greece. It was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.